Welcome back. It's 9-11 right now, and Coburn Place offers a lot. Supportive services, housing options to survivors of domestic violence and their children. We just had that death this morning where police are saying it was because of domestic violence, they believe. The kids of Coburn Place are asking for your help now, and they're holding their annual lemonade stand. It's a fundraiser, but because of the coronavirus crisis, it's now virtual this year. And joining me live is Coburn Place CEO Julia Catheri. And Julia, I know that it's hard. We just had a you know a fatal shooting this month. That at this point, IMPD is saying a female was shot, and they believe it was domestic violence related. I first want to just ask you a little bit about that, since this is what you deal with. Um, we don't know yet if they had children, but we can, you know, feel for anyone in this situation. Absolutely. And, you know, right now I think we're all learning that having a safe home is fundamental uh, to everyone's well-being, whether it be our, our health and safety or our, our lives. Um, and so what we do at Coburn Place is provide a safe home. We provide on-site transitional housing. We provide community-based housing. And during this pandemic, what we've noticed is that in all of 2019, we served about 884 people in housing, either on-site or out in the community. And already by mid-June, we had topped that number for all of 2019 wow. by serving 953 people. So domestic violence um, is certainly a prevalent, you know, in our community um, by any means, but, but certainly right now, I think we're all learning that a safe home is just paramount. And when you're dealing with even more um, families and more children, more cases, that means more money is needed. Tell us what it, it the need is. Tell us what that need is. Um, well, you know, because we've served already this year, as many people as we've served out in the community, raising funds from the community is as important as ever. Um, the kids, while they may be going back to school in varied ways uh, this coming fall, well, actually in the next few weeks, yeah. um, you know, they still need things. They still need those back to shoe schools and supply uh, shoes, back to school shoes and, and supplies and all the things. And that's why we started the lemonade stand 10 years ago. Uh, but even that very first year, um, you could say life threw us lemons because they did it during spring break and it actually snowed that very first lemonade stand. So um, we're kind of used to modifying and dealing with, you know, what comes our way. But this year has been a challenge. And so we do need the community's help to, to help families who are struggling with domestic violence and certainly the children. Uh, get back on their feet and and get back to as much as normal as they can. Okay, so we want to get down to it. We're doing this virtual lemonade stand. Hotel Tango is helping out. How can we help you raise money? What do we need to know and do? Well, we've taken the event virtual this year, and so we're already raising money. And so we're um, you can go to coverplace.org backslash um, lemon and um, learn more about the event. But yes, Hotel Tango, um, during uh, between July 13th and July 17th, you can order now a lemonade kit, an adult lemonade kit to go mm. pick up and they'll have that ready for you. And um, it's, it's, a, it's a fun cocktail that they've designed just for lemonade stand. And then you can go online and donate um, to just the lemonade stand for the kids. Um, all the money goes to support the children of Coburn Place. And we serve about 250 children a month in various ways, but it's really important to give kids back their childhood who have witnessed and experienced domestic violence because we, we all know the intergenerational of cycle Absolutely. Uh, of violence is, is uh, really prevalent. Julia, thank you so much. We're going to try to help you get the word out. Thank you for all of your help and what you do. You do have until July 17th to donate. If you would like to do that, fox59.com slash links. Let's talk to Jim and again about, is that it?